Hey everybody, it's Miss Yolanda, and today is Friday, and you know what that means? That means I give you my top five of what happened in entertainment this week. You don't want to miss it. And now the ladies say, I think I like that. And now the ladies say, My number five is talking about Little Kim new album. Now I don't know when it's coming out, but did you hear what it's gonna be called? Well, I'm here to tell you what it's gonna be called. It's called Black Friday. Black Friday, yes, it's called Black Friday. Now y'all remember that they, that Little Kim as well as Nicki Minaj had a beef going on last year. Well, the beef is continuing because she has a new. Um, song as well as video coming out called Clap Clap. Now, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. When I saw the name of the song, Clap Clap, I'm thinking STD viral. Like, what's she talking about? Clap Clap? Is she talking about the virus? Okay. That was just me. But, I haven't heard the song yet, but you can go and Google it. But in the video, she has a Nicki Minaj lookalike. Yes, she has a Nicki Minaj lookalike. Now, I haven't heard Clap Clap. But let's, but knowing that she has a Nicki Minaj lookalike in the video, it, it ain't nothing but a diss. What is going on with, with the world today? Why do we have so much beef with everybody? Beef should go into a sandwich, not between people. Between some bread, not between people. But coming, my number four in entertainment news with this week. It's not really, this number four is not really news. It's talking about the VH1 show, Back to My Wife. Now, I watched it this Sunday, and the thing that killed me the most was the person at the door checking the names. Those two um, grown women were not invited, but they still got into the party anyway. What was that lady paying you for? Just to stand at the door and look pretty? You were there to not let people that were, in, that were not invited into the, to, into the charity event. But all they had to do was say, I ain't ready I touch that mess. We going in. But at the same time, they weren't invited. Why do you crash a party that wasn't invited? If you wasn't invited, be like, okay, move it on, keep it moving. But hey, I guess that that just makes good television. But that just really got to me about that bouncer because I'm like, look, you are getting paid to check off who is here and who is not here. You supposed to escort they butt out. Why are you here? Why am I paying you? You you ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing but a tip. And the only and the tip is you are a bouncer, meaning you bounce them folks that are not on there, y'all. Coming in at number three is my favorite person, Kamora Lee Simmons, because I wear a lot of baby fat. So I want to talk about her fourth season of Kamora Life in the Fab Lane. I know that it started, it already started in Jan on January the 9th, but I went online and, they, you know, they had some more stuff about it. And and for those of y'all who do not know about the new season, it's on now, the, the Style Network, every Sunday at 9 o'clock, and it is just fabulous. I love watching Kamora Lee Simmons, you know, her life and what's going on with it. And also her baby. She's teaching the baby sign language. I didn't know that. That's what's up. But also, in related news to reality shows, um, so I remember I told y'all last week that Toni Braxton has a show, a reality show with her family coming in the middle of April. And they had a picture of her, you know, the promo picture or whatever you want to call it. And when I looked at it, I thought, I was like, why Tony Braxton took all them many, uh, them poles in different wigs? But then I had to look at it again and say, oh, that's all her family. Plain Danny, all look alike. Which is, which is cool. You know, that's what's up. They all look alike. And, you know, I can't wait to see this show. Also, in related news to reality show, um, Toya, her family is coming in the middle of April with, on BET with her show. Also, with, um, with the Cruz family, that's coming in March. So get ready for for a spring full of for full of um, reality shows in spring. That's what's up. Okay, coming at number two 
is well i'm gonna give y'all a little bit of uh, info with i got two number twos <laughs> i got two number twos um this number two is about Nicki minaj if you don't got married to drake no i'm just playing no in her video moment for life she has gotten married to drake in the video and the video is very I haven't seen the video yet. The video hasn't come out yet, but that will be dropping soon. I'm going to be talking like I haven't seen the video already. But more than likely, knowing Nicki Minaj, it's going to be fierce, baby. It's going to be fierce. <laughs> okay, and the other part to number two is about Usher. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's going on with Usher right now because, okay, he was given, he, he's on an OMG tour, and he's in Germany either in Germany at the time what you know what, what happened you know in Germany and and they booed him but let me give you the um let me give you the meat of this whole situation he came out on stage and they said he was feeling kind of ill and and some of the time he got off stage without you know letting the crowd know that the DJ had to take over the next time he came on stage he started to sing and they said he started singing off key and you know messed up and everything and then he stopped and said, you know, he was sorry, he was feeling ill or whatever. And they booed him. And before he could, before, he, before you know it, he got off stage. The lights came on, the concert was over. Woo! Man. And some people thinking that he could be on drugs or he could be really sick or something else. But whatever it is, um, I hope Usher is okay. But they were saying that he lost 20 pounds. So, I don't know. So, I hope he's okay. All right, y'all. My number one is about Tuesday's game. If you didn't see it, you missed it. And I'm not talking about football. I'm talking about the game. The television show that we used to be on CW Network is now on BET. Yes, y'all. It came on at 10 o'clock for one hour, for an hour premiere. It was so, you were at the edge of your seat. If you was not at the seat, you was probably on the floor. Because this show really was on point, and it was, it was, man, that's my opinion. Because I really liked it, and I, and I missed, um, I missed the game, you know. So now they are in their fourth season, and they had 7.7 .7 million people viewing. Oh, get it, game. That's what's up. Yes, yeah, so for the, and I went online, I went on Twitter as well as Facebook to see what was going on, what people were saying. Oh, my God, so many people were watching it that I knew. I didn't even know that half of these folks even knew about the game, but they do. So, there were a lot of people watching. I remember um, on Sunday, I went to CBS and somebody was talking about it in the aisle. I was like, wow, this is really getting a reaction. So, also, good news for the uh, for Tia Mari, who plays Melanie, a.k.a. Med School. She is pregnant. Yes, pregnant with her and her husband's first child. So, congratulations goes out to them. And for those people who who like the game, who want to see it again, to see the show again, you know, it's, it comes on every Tuesday at 10 o'clock on BET. And for those who didn't like it, find something else to watch. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it for my top five of what happened entertainment this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next Friday giving you the same dish. All right, have a safe weekend. Love you all.